Let me show you how it is when Arisha come down. Where the raw I'm in the drums, but that can't go sound. Watch them bodies get to grooving. Moving around like in the trance when they dance. Walking the Pharaoh's lounge. We salute the ancestors first. Yo, you Haligani. I wish you strength, good health, and a manifestation of wealth. Because like always, the road is open. Every day is a ritual for growth and a manifestation to build and create. Can't no one stop you or hinder you but yourself. And can't no one limit us but us. So as I begin to speak on the civilization before the pharaohs, so the kingdom, the Kemetic kingdom which was established 55, approximately 5,500 years ago was on the road to the end when it became a kingdom because it went to a monarchy system. It went into a system where you had those who considered themselves chosen by that creative force to rule others. But the great works that they used to create their system came from the era before the kingdom came to be, which was from 7,000 to 5,500 years ago. So when we talk talking about that that ancient Nile Valley civilization, first we have to understand that 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 Nile Valley that followed the Nile River started from that Uganda and ended in the Mediterranean, and and we know that civilization started in that Uganda era five million years ago. So. When we begin to talk about before the Pharaoh, we're talking about the great works that was done that advanced civilization to its highest height. Because it was at that point where the art of writing was created. That art that was able to make what we say audibly and put it down in a pictorial form for everyone can hear, for everyone can visualize beyond our voices. So that was a significant part of advancement of civilization that was done in between this time. Also, you had those stargazers those stargazers in the Nile Valley civilization 6,000 years ago before the kingdom was established by no more in 3,500 uh, before the Christian era was the ones who mapped the solar system, the same system, uh, the same measurements that we use today. It wasn't until the, when ancient Kemetic, when ancient Kemet was established that the evasions occurred, that people was using their greed to rule upon others to formulate their own wealth or their own well-being. So that's why a lot of times you may have heard when you talk to those uh, African philosophical giants that when you listen, you will hear them tell you that Egypt was the downfall of the Nile Valley civilization because it came to a point where People start believing in that royal lie. And that royal lie is that we're all not created equal. 
that royal lie is that some people was meant to rule over others. And that same practice manifests its head today. It is during that time of Kemet when our people, you know, they advance that philosophy of 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 the one God theory. It came up out of that when um Okanaten came up with um sun the sun god Ra being the only God, but it didn't last long. But that's how the Greek philosophers was able to construe. That's how the Abrahamic religions was able to form themselves because before then, before the pharaohs, it was always community based. It was always based on a equality system that was based on what we would call egalitarian system where everybody had their own individual communities everybody honored their ancestors and under their natural resources at that time once the understanding came to be that we start putting one element above the other or we start putting the sun above the air or the air above the water then we came into that supreme ideal form where what you say is wrong or what you do is wrong if you do not agree with this principle. But before the pharaohs, when all the great works was able to manifest themselves to help that ancient Kemet system, you know, it was based on unification. It was based on a system where we where we was able to put our minds together and work as one to be able to understand the signs of the times, to map the solar systems and understand during this time the Nile would flood. So we would have to put and have to store away certain foods so after that war that great battle between those that want to share knowledge and those who want to keep the secrets came to be when the kingdom came to existence it was able to implement domination upon those who didn't know so then now we come into the era where we can call that elitism. Where some people were saying that uh, they are ordained to rule. Where some people was believing that they don't have what it takes, you know, to get past their problems because they need divine inspiration. But it has always been before this time, you know, each community were based on their needs and was based on their said principles. So when that royal lie came into existence that, you know, this person, this, these individuals are a goal. These individuals are a silver. These individuals are a bronze. They begin to manipulate the masses into not believing that they are able or they uh, have what it takes to govern themselves and do what it takes to live a successful life and preserve themselves from death and destruction. So don't was the key elements of all. So 
understand that when the kingdom was founded, when that chematic kingdom was founded, that we see the great works they did. They did it off the backs of the previous civilizations that pre the previous people that was a thousand five hundred that was years before them so it's not like you know that that's something that when we speak about the pharaohs or when we speak about the pyramids or when we speak about the sphinx them are works and they're great works and we can't take anything from them works even though the Europeans try to separate that from us in the walking image of Africa, us African people, you know, them, our works. But at the time when it was done, it was done up under a dictatorship. The knowledge and the philosophies and the science they were using they use that science of before the pharaohs. The pharaohs was able to use that science for their own authority and for their own power. So now when we look at Africa, we see that, you know, we have the kings, you know, we have those who are more in prestige than others because it's fall up under that elitism system. And we think that it's culturally, that's the way it's been for a long time. And it have, but it was an era before that it wasn't. So even today, you know, a lot of us call ourselves kings, a lot of us call ourselves queens. And I guess that is good from a self-esteem point of view, but you always have to judge a king by how his kingdom operate and how the people in that kingdom live, not just by being royal, you know, not just by saying that, oh, you ordain by the creative force in the nature and you was made to rule. Because that's just simply a royal lie. Because this nature validates that everyone was created with the same capability, you know. So then we start getting into the problems that we run into that we feel like that we're not capable of dealing with our challenges because we feel like that we need a savior. Uh, we feel is that, oh, we need someone with supreme authority to tell us what to do, which has never been the case because we are authorized. You know, our independence of our will validates that we have the power within us. We always have choices and we always have decisions. When we come to the present day and we can look at the dollar bill and we can see the pyramids on there and we can see a lot of things from ancient Egypt in the civilization that we in today and how we live and how they use a lot of their systematic works that they done. So now it's transformed to a point where they want to stick us in boxes or they want to, you know, put us in a colorized box where, you know, they want to classify you as black. They want to classify you as white. So now when they calling us, uh, telling us that we black, they telling us that, okay, well, you a second class citizen, you know. So now every time if you see something, they will be like, oh, this black person did this. Or, 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 or a black person did that because now they're looking at you not as gold, not as silver, but as bronze. You understand where I'm coming from? Then now they're just trying to put us as a people that's not governed to rule and not able to 
make the proper decisions of what we need. And this in turn create that victim mentality. Uh, create the understanding that we need a savior. So now, besides us exercising our authority, exercising our choices and, and making proper decisions, we waiting for divine intervention or we waiting for something or a leader to move for us besides us being able to be calculated, strategic, and premeditated and make the moves that are required. Ashe Olodumare. We salute the ancestors first because that's the way to go. If you never seen a warrior priest, here you go. Shango, Ogun, Babalawo, Oshun, Batala, Yemuo. We bite the spirits in the rum, is the nitro.